Welcome back to our Pokemon Showdown Battles. Today we are running this Trevenant team we made yesterday, which ended up a lot more defensive than I imagined. We have a lot of special defense on this team. Like, we have five Pokemon that are running special defense investment, which was not how I intended this team to, like, come out at all. But we are going to see how it goes. We are going to click battle. We are ready for Trevenant to shine. Hopefully, hopefully we see a lot of Pokemon that Trevenant can shine against. That is not what Trevenant can shine against. That really isn't. That's, in fact, terrible for Trevenant. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of Pokemon that hit Trevenant super effective. Um, we see a Kecleon with Sucker Punch. We see a Raichu with Hidden Power Ice. We see Miltank, probably our best bet with, to use Trevenant. We see a Hitmonchan, which can carry Fire Punch and Ice Punch. We see a Miss Magius, which carries Shadow Ball, and a Pyro, which carries Flamethrower. Oh dear. Oh dear. This, oh, I do not have a lead for this. This is scary. I think our best possible lead is possibly the Regirock. So we're gonna lead with Regirock. We lead with Raichu. Right, I would be annoyed about this, but I'm not. Do we just straight up curse? We're gonna straight up curse. Focus Blast. That does not do much. That didn't do damage. That did not do damage. Alright, alright, um, definitely going for a Drain Punch here, that didn't do very much at all, Drain Punch hits, does over half, we get like all of our health back just there, we got all of our health back, that is nice. We will, it, does he want to sack this thing off this early, that's the question. We're going to Drain Punch, because he is running free, free normal types now that I look at it, free. Which is really good. Really good for us, actually. So, we will click Stone Edge here. I mean, it's good for us because we have a Hitmonchan, not because of this thing, okay? There, by no means is this thing the star of the show here. Regirock is going to do his thing, but we are we are not going to, to sweep with Regirock, okay? As much as I would love to, not happening. So, I could see Hitmonchan coming in. Hitmonchan does come in. Now, we are very, 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 very high in our defense. Like, we have 654 defense right now. So, do I want to stay in? Or do I just go into the Trevenant and do the safe thing? And will this? Honestly, I kind of want Stealth Rocks up. <laughs> ah, decisions, decisions. Do I set Stealth Rocks up? Do I Drain Punch? Those are the two decisions I'm trying to think. He might predict a swap, then again, we're already at plus one. Are the Stealth Rocks really worth it? We're gonna Drain Punch. I don't think they're worth it. So, Drain Punch for Drain Punch here. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, we can actually live. I'm Stealth Rocking now. Yeah, okay, that's amazing that we even lived, to be honest. So, we're letting this thing go down. That's, that's a definite we're letting this thing go down. But still, that was not the end of the world. That actually went fairly well. <laughs> I have no grudge against what just happened. That, would, that was fine. That was absolutely fine. So, is this where we go into Deli Bird? <laughs> I just genuinely called it Deli Bird. <laughs> is this where we go into Articuno, not Deli Bird? Or is this where we go into Grace the Gorobus? I think this is where we go into Grace the Gorobus, because Gorobus has a nice uh, defense na defense anyway. He'll outspeed, so we get a free Shout Smash. Raichu is fa Whoa, we don't- Oh, wow. I was expecting him to outspeed for some reason. Thankfully, we're White Herb, or else that could have done some serious damage to us. Uh, we're going to Psychic. That doesn't kill- He is so likely Assault Vest. He is so- so likely Assault Vest, it's ridiculous. We will proceed to Surf, because it should still kill. He's running Mark Punch as well. Good plays, good plays. Uh, if he's running Kecleon, then Sucker Punch is coming. Do I Shell Smash again, expecting the Sucker Punch? Decisions must be made. I do. 
Oh, fake out. Damn. If you... Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> that's really annoying. Okay, we're going as Trevenant now. Here is the time. We are gonna Leech Seed, because I can't willingly Will-O-Wisp this thing with a Pyro around. Sadly. He's running Shadow Sneak. Okay. Okay. Um, we will proceed to Will-O-Wisp this turn. Damn. We got played. We got played. We have to go into Hitmonchan. It's the only Pokemon that can take a hit from this thing. We are a Soul Vest, and that still does so much damage. That's Specs. That is Specs. That is 100% Specs. We are not running anything. Oh, you need to miss a Fire Blast, my friend. He swaps. That's fine. That is fine. Why wouldn't he not click Fire Blast? The odds were in his favor for that to go really well. So he outspeeds. We get enough Drain Punch. That's actually more health back. That's really good. <laughs> Kecleon comes in. We're gonna swap into the um, into the Articuno because I need I need to keep that Hitmonchan around. I really do. So we will go for Toxic here. We can go for like nothing else really. We could go for a Freeze Dry, but I don't think it'll do too much. So Pyro comes in, gets Toxic, which is nice. Which is very nice. Uh, we aren't running Fake Out on our Lipard, which sucks in a way. Oh, if we were, that'd be really nice. Um, sacrificial Trevenant. I don't like saying Sacrificial when, you know, it's it's the Pokemon that we built the team around. But I think it's Sacrificial Trevenant time. I don't think Trevenant does a lot else. Lipard can always, like, be there to deal with something at the very end. Yeah, okay, Sacrificial Trevenant time. Goodbye, Trevenant. It was nice knowing you. And then we bring in the Hitmonchan, and we click Drain Punch. <laughs> so he has to sacrifice something here. He either swaps into the Keck- oh, or he lets the Pyro go down. Okay, that's best case scenario for us. That was best case scenario for us. That was really good for us, because that Pyro was scary. So, against this Kecleon, I kind of want to Drain Punch. However, it's likely he will Shadow Sneak. So we will go into the Articuno, and we will go for, a, go for a Toxic, basically. Goes to the Fake Out, that's not too much. That's not too much at all. We can Freeze Dry. We can Freeze Dry. We're going to Freeze Dry and see what happens. Damn, should have went for Toxic. 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 We're going for Toxic this time. We are 100% going for Toxic this time. <laughs> He's running Drain Punch. Okay. That did, that did damage. That did damage. Okay. Whoa there. Uh, we, can, we can roost him out. Drain Punch did, like, just around half. So we can roost him out. He sucker punched. Yes. That is that is great for us. That is absolutely great for us. And there's the forfeit. Okay. That was probably a good call. He could have tried swapping into the Raichu and maybe something could have come his way, but that Oh, Delibird did good. Delibird did good. <laughs> Me calling this thing Delibird is gonna get really annoying really quick, and I love it. Okay. Hitmonchan. Again. Ordino. Weezing, interesting, Malamar, Lipard, and Charizard. So, Mega Ordino is a thing. Honestly, against his team, his lead is probably the Lipard. Meaning, our best lead is probably the Articuno. Because that's Heal Bell. So we're gonna lead with Articuno! A little bit weird, but we'll we'll see how this goes. We can safely go for a freeze dry. He's gonna fake out, okay. Normal gem boosted. That's his item gone at least. We can either toxic or we can we're gonna toxic. Well, he's running knockoff. So far. 
uh, it's looking pretty standard. We're gonna roost. We tried to suck a punch. Please. Okay. Uh, we're gonna freeze dry this turn. See what happens. Charizard comes in. Gonna take a neutral hit. It's a little bit of damage, I guess. It's not a lot, though. We can go into the Regirock. Regirock has special defense investment. The only thing we have to worry about is a Focus Blast, and even that shouldn't do too much. That Fire Blast did not do much. Burn. That sucks. That sucks. We're gonna set up Stealth Rocks. We're gonna hope he, set, he swaps out, and we're gonna set up Stealth Rocks. Because if he does swap out, then... Oh, that's a lot of damage on re-entry. That is good. That is very, very good. But it still sucks. It still sucks that that had to happen. That burn was so unnecessary. We did not need that burn. Uh, against a Weezing, what do we swap in? What's a Weezing going to do to us? They can't will a wisp. Sludge Bomb? Trevenant can deal with it either way. I don't know what he's doing. Hidden Power Fighter. What? What? <laughs> Sorry, I am confused. <laughs> um, he tried to Toxic us. We have the Lumberry. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, do we double Leaf Seed? We double leaf seed. He toxic again. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we do still have harvest though, so I mean we have a chance every turn of getting that back. Uh, we'll go for a will o wisp, I guess. Get some more slow damage against this thing. We can't finish it though. That's the issue. We still don't get up. Mm, okay. We will lead see. I want him to swap. I'm expecting him to swap. He has rest. He is not swapping. He is not swapping. He has a Chesto Berry, which is gone now, which is good. Lumberry Harvests, finally. <laughs> We're gonna Will O Wisp him again. Don't swap into the Charizard. Ah, I should have expected. I should have expected it. Uh, we can go into the Reggie Rock. I don't know if it will go well for us if we do. We'll try it. We're going to try going into the Red Rock. Worst case scenario, we lose... Oh, okay. Worst case scenario is that damage because of Blaze. Blaze. An ability that is so easy to forget. It's so easy to forget that starters have Blaze, but yep. Powered up five moves. Okay. So we will come in with Gorobis, who has a little bit of special defense investment. Not a lot, but a little bit. We are going to Shell Smash. Oh my god. And he got the burn again. That's... Those two burns, not gonna lie, they they actually really mattered both times. Both times those burns mattered a ridiculously large amount. So we will go into the light part right now. It's Focus Sash. I am past the point of caring and thinking we can win. We'll just knock off this Charizard because he got a burn twice when it mattered. Like, the other times when he used it, it didn't. In fact, he got a burn 100% of the time when he could. That's amazing. So, we have the play rough. We'll go for the play rough. We'll hope we win the speed tie. We do win the speed tie. Play rough kills. Okay, that's good. We don't get thunder waved, which was the worst thing I was thinking could happen. If he comes in with Malamar, we have U-turn. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Give me that U-turn. How does he have speed? He's scarfed. He is Choice Scarf. That's how. Which means we are safe to go into this at least. And we can set up a Leap Seed. So at least we know we're safe. There's no way he could have outsped without being Choice Scarf. So we 100% know his item. Meaning he's locked into a fighting type move. And he swaps just to confirm that. Okay. We're going to get a little bit of health back from this Ordino, which is nice. Uh, he has nothing to take a Will-O-Wisp anymore, so we can Will-O-Wisp. Heal Bell is a thing, but I'm not too worried. Flamethrower? Not what I expected, I'll give it that. Not what I expected. And we can Horn Leech. He hasn't actually seen any of our moves other than Leech Seed and will o -Wisp. That's all he knows we can do. So, Horn Leech gives us a tiny little bit of health back. 
Dazzling Gleam. Does not do much for him. Do we Leech Seed this turn? Or do we Horn Leech? We Horn Leech because he dies on Stealth Rock Reentry. So it's just free damage. Free damage onto this Malamar, which was really good damage actually, considering. Uh, what do we go into here? What's he locking himself into? I think Hitmonchan is our best bet. He'll lock himself into a Dark type move. Foul play. That's okay. That's actually really okay. We can Drain Punch. Yes, Weezing can come in, but that's not the point. Weezing doesn't, like, do too much. Weezing is fine. Weezing, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. We can deal with Weezing eventually. So, we can't hit this thing for, like, anything, sadly. I wish we could Earthquake it. I really do. We have... Oh, we're, ne we're never getting past this. We are never getting past this Weezing of Rest. Ice Punch Freeze? That's our best bet. So, we're swapping out, just so we can heal Bell, because I don't want to be toxic. I do not want that thing toxic. Sludge Wave doesn't do too much. We are running Heal Bell. We are clicking Heal Bell. Everything is good. He can Toxic all he wants, but it's not going to do too much. We can Freeze Dry, do a little bit of damage. Does some good damage. We get the Freeze! Oh my god, we got the Freeze. Oh my god, we got the Freeze. We are playing Risky right here and going for a Heal Bell. And hoping he stays frozen. He has a 20% chance to fall, so he should stay frozen. Good. Good. We're freeze drying now. I'm not letting that thing rest. That thing is a problem. Okay, that was that went really well. <laughs> I have no words for how well that went. He dies on Stealth Rock Reentry, so that's fine. Malamar is the scariest thing right now. And even so, it takes Stealth Rock damage. It's gonna take freeze dry damage right here. Which is something. So he'll probably lock himself- Oh, he has Rock Slide. That missed though. That miss mattered. I feel bad. That miss really mattered. We're gonna go for a Toxic on this thing. Is he running a Rock type move? We outspeed anyway. Bulk up. Okay. Bulk up Drain Punch. Probably. So we'll go for a Freeze Dry. Bullet Punch. Okay. Not what I expected. That's damage, though. That's damage. That's a crit as well. Oh my god. Everything is just going into our favor. I feel kind of bad. Uh, we'll roost just on the off chance, but either way, this thing is going down. That's that's not that's not a problem. Not a problem at all. He can't drain punch if I come in with Trevenant, meaning he goes down at the end of his turn. He has ice punch. We go down. He goes down in return. Counting that as Trevenant's kill. That went well. Okay. I, I quite enjoyed that match. That came down uh, pretty close at the end. We're going to go for one more battle. Huh. That, that took a lot out of me. I had to think. Thinking is hard. <laughs> we see an Aurorus. Yes, please, give it to me. We see a Vivion. We see a Wigglytuff, a Matang, Patches, and a Malamar. That's a nice looking team. We're going to lead with the Lipard. Matang. We're going for a knockoff. It's going to do solid damage and remove an Eviolite. That is worth it. <laughs> Solid damage removes an Eviolite. He sets up Stealth Rock. I am not even mad. We are going to Thunder Wave. So, yes, we lose our Sash, but not the end of the world. He gets the attack boost. Oh, no, you need to, you need to stop right there. You, you need, you, no. No, 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 no. We need this thing alive for the Vivion. So I'm keeping it alive for the Vivion. And we're going to U-turn out. Plus it can U-turn on the Malamar, provided it isn't Scarfed. Which will also be nice. Uh, what do we even bring in against this thing? This is a scary Pokemon to be facing. Gorobis, probably. Best bet. He's going to meet your mash. Ugh, damage. Uh, he's paralyzed, so we do outspeed. Putting him on the special side. Do we just Surf? I think we're forced into just Surfing does take him out, which is good. So, although we don't get to Shell Smash, I mean, we could have tried going for a Shell Smash. We could have tried. But if we got hit by a Zen Headbutt, which was neutral, we would have lost, like, most of our HP, and that would have been bad. So, Lantern comes in. Makes sense. We have a Trevenant we can swap into, and I am going to make the swap, because that Gorobis still has some kind of use. 
Right, how are we dealing with this? Do we leech seed this turn? Or do we just horn leech? We're gonna... we're gonna leech seed. He can run Ice Beam. I know my Lantern well. I know my Lantern normally carries Ice Beam, but I don't think... Okay, I was right. I didn't think that would be enough to 2-hit KO. So he might stay in here, meaning we are 100% going for a rest. Alright, not the end of the world though, because we still have our Lumberry intact, so it means we just like restore all our health, which is not a problem. Ice type move incoming, what do we go into? We go into... Do we go into Gorbis? Can Gorbis take a refrigerate boosted hyper voice? It's it's debatable. It's, I don't I don't think it can, but it's debatable. Um, we can go into Hitmontran at least. We're gonna go into Hitmontran. It's a salt fest. It's a salt fest. It can take a special attack. Yeah, okay, good. Good. Whew. We'll drain punch. I'm not making any overly ridiculous plays because Aurorus is a scary bloke one. And as likely as it is they'll swap out, Drain Punch either breaks a sash on with a V on, or it hits something. Lantern takes good damage. Uh, once again, I'm clicking Drain Punch, because that did really good damage to Lantern. Lantern does not take physical hits. He can try going into the V on, and I will be fine with that. Lantern goes down. We are at full health. Everything is good in the world. We definitely need to keep... Uh, Tyson around for Aurorus. That is a 100% must, so we can't let that thing die until Aurorus is dead. Malamar, scary Pokemon, is here. So, against a Malamar, what is it doing? What is the Malamar doing? I don't know what the Malamar is doing. The Malamar scares me. Oh, the Malamar scares me so much. Do I need Articuno? No, I don't think I need Articuno in this match at all. Superpower. That was what I was hoping he would not go for. So we will go for a Toxic on the off chance we outspeed. Because if he is not Choice Scarf and not Speed Invested, this should do be just fine. Okay, he is not Speed Invested. Good to know. Very good to know. The reason why that's good to know is we have a, a very, very strong move against it being U-Turn. So we will happily go for a U-Turn right here. How much this can do? It's gonna be like it's pretty much just two times super effective because he has a double in his defense. So it's not gonna be a one hit KO, but it should do around half. 40%, maybe a little bit less then. Fine. We're gonna swap into the Trevenant, hoping he goes for another superpower. He does go for another superpower, that went well. So he is not locked into his move. Does that mean he will go for a dark type move this time? Is he possibly Choice Banded? If he's Choice Banded... Would a Choice Banded superpower do that little? No. What's he doing? What is he thinking? I don't know. I am confused. We're gonna go into the Regirock thinking he's not going for superpower. Knock off. I'm glad I swapped. So, what is he going for on this last turn of something's life? We're going for Stealth Rock, we're staying in. Stealth Rocks would be so beneficial against that Vivion, but it's just worth it. <gasps> yes, that was best case scenario, because Regirock stays alive. That is a great scenario. Alright, Vivion is definitely scary. Is definitely, definitely scary. However, we can get around it now. No matter what, we will find a way to get around it. It will all be fine. Wigglytuff comes in. Wigglytuff, really? We'll go for a Stone Edge, just in case we outspeed. I don't think we outspeed. Oh, we do. Yo, damage. Nice. Okay. That is fine. That is absolutely fine. Uh, we can come in with Gorbis, I guess. Gorbis has no other use, really. We will go for a Surf, and hopefully it will kill. It might not. Wigglytuff has a lot of defense. It does kill. Okay. This is all going pretty well. There was no way I was shell smashing that situation. <laughs> Vivion is probably his best bet. Uh, if he does come out with Vivion, what is the play to make? Let this thing go to sleep? 
I guess. We'll click Ice Beam. On the off chance he misses Sleep Powder, that's always an option. He got straight Quiver Dance. Straight Quiver Dance. I'm happy I clicked Ice Beam. He kind of had to, he should have really went for the Sleep Powder. That would have been something. Unless he wasn't running Sleep Powder. Let's be honest, who doesn't run Sleep Powder on Vivion? Come on now. And does this mean Gorbis is going to like pick up a late game sweep right here? Getting out these last three Pokemon coming in clutch? Maybe. Either way, Aurorus cannot one-hit Hitmonchan. So the game is over. There is no reason for him to even be considering what Pokemon he's bringing out right now. <laughs> let's, let's just carefully debate what Pokemon could, could uh, be coming in right now. Could it be the Malamar? No. No, it couldn't. Could it be the Matang? No. Wait, that's dead too. How about uh, Patches? No, Patches is dead. Uh, Wigglytuff. Damn, that went down to a surf a couple of times ago. Uh, Vivion just went down now. That leaves one button you can click. One. One singular button. Like, it's, it's probably like here. It's not that difficult. I have four buttons that I could click, like, if I was in this situation. So, uh... This is my way of saying I'm stressed, by the way. <laughs> I'm stressed at the fact that he is actually running the clock at this point in the game. Like, why? Did he have to go somewhere? Is he is he carefully debating something? Is he damage calcing? <laughs> I don't know what he would be damage calcing. A surf will kill you. It's that simple. I win. Forfeit if you want. I wouldn't mind. Like, I just don't do this. <laughs> don't waste people's precious, valuable time. I could go and eat a chicken nugget right now, okay? That's that's pretty valuable piece of time. 30 seconds left. We get the point. We win. I don't think there's any way he can win. Unless he's running... Does Aurorus get any kind of setup move? Ancient power boost? <laughs> I think that's about the only way. Oh my god, if he actually came in, went for ancient power, like crit, killed me and got boost. Oh, I would not be happy. Even so, I don't think he'd be able to kill the Hitmonchan. And there we go, he loses due to inactivity, so that is a game. I was just staying just in case he came back, just to give him the benefit of the doubt. But that is going to be the battles for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed these battles that really didn't show Trevenant too much. Sad times. If you guys have enjoyed the battles nevertheless, hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!